Power in the AC circuit. Power, I said during this lesson, is measured in what? You want your voltage in what? RMS. Yes. Okay. This is the whole power triangle lesson. We could have taught the current triangle, the ohm triangle. Okay. The, the cool thing about the power triangle is that in, in figuring out power, you can you can relate that to other things, right? What did I say the the power factor was the cosine of which angle? Say it, man. Say it. Forty-five degrees. Yeah. The cosine of your angle be, uh, theta. That's this is apparent power, yeah. and this is true power. And it's reactive power, right? The power factor is the ratio of true power over apparent power, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So if this is angle theta, so cosine of angle theta equals uh, true power over apparent power equals I squared R over I squared Z. The I squareds cancel each other out. Right? Same, same. Power factor. R over Z. But this is the angle for apparent power. Yes? PA. It's also the angle for what? Impedance. So if you take the cosine this, just knowing what the how the triangle what the triangle looks like, so Katoa, knowing that the cosine of this angle equals the power factor, true power over apparent power. If you know the cosine of this angle, you have the power factor. If you have the power factor, can you find the cosine of the angle? You just take the arc cosine function, right? Okay. All right, so apparent power, the power that appears to be delivered by the generator. So we know that capacitors store voltage, conductors store current. Okay, so that power, uh, that reactive power, isn't really used or in, in any form of heat or energy. Okay, because capacitors store voltage, and because capacitors store uh, current, they're not using that power. Okay. Only a resistor in the form of heat and light uses power. Real power, true power. Okay. So apparent power, power everywhere is additive. Why? Because voltage is additive in series and current is additive in parallel. Yes? Okay. So P equals I times E or I squared R or I squared X. Okay, E squared over uh, R or E squared over X or I squared divided by G or B. Okay, all those equations that you learned in Annex 2 and that you did a metric class where you did all those uh, conversions and setting this equation equal to that equation, all that still stuff still applies with AC except now we have angles. Okay. Okay, so to get Apparent power, everybody understands that that is the total sum of power, true power and reactive power. Yes, whenever we can add the triangle, PT and PX, I can get PA. Yes? All right. True power is the power of the resistor. Measured in watts. Reactive power is measured in what? A-R. Yeah, both amps reactive, B-A-R, and apparent power, B-A, B-A, both amps. So current common in series, current times uh, voltage of the resistor, or square current times the resistor to get the same thing. And that's what we get here. Or E squared over R if you know the resistor's voltage drop. 
trigonometric functions. That's what we got over there on the board. And reactive power. Both damage reactive, and that is P sub X. That's the power. Uh, true power is lazy cousin, right? It doesn't really do anything because inductors store current and both capacitors store both. Alright. Power. Anybody have any questions on power? Alright, so reactive power. Uh, it's finding the power of X of C and X of L. Okay. You know current is a series circuit. I squared X. Here okay, I squared R. Okay. There's another relationship here between the angles. Uh, this is in your student handout, right? Okay. Here's our power factor. True power over apparent power, and it's in the ratio. It's in the ratio. Okay. That's it. All right. Any questions on power at all? 